One of the fun things about Adobe Photoshop is that you never get bored with this program because they're always coming up with new stuff. Go into your exercise file and open up this image right here. That's 26 underscore 2508094.jpg from our friends at Photospin. Go up to the word filter and go down to blur. We're going to look at three new blur filters. Field, iris, tilt. Go ahead and choose any one you want because once you get here, you get access to all three right over here. Let's look at how we can play around with this image using all three of these blurs. Let's turn off Field Blur and let's start with Tilt Shift. Now Tilt Shift, I prefer working over here with the heads up display area as opposed to over here. You have an area that's in focus, that's in here. You have a transitional area that goes from here to here and that takes the focus out of focus to maximum at that point. Same thing on the other side. This little kind of like semicircle right now, if you move it, allows you to increase or decrease the blur. And if we touch actually right on the pin, that's called a pin, you can move it around. Now, if you want to, you can add more than one of these by coming anywhere you want and just clicking. We're going to work with just this one. First thing I'm going to do is come out here and not click, but drag. And it allows me to kind of change, or tilt shift, I guess, the blur area. Now, I do want these guys in focus, and I want it to maybe softly go out of focus from that point. So what I need to do here is put this stuff out of focus. So I'm going to grab this line right here, and I'm going to pull it up. I need very little transition, if any, on that side. It needs to kind of really go out of focus. Let's try it right about there, see what we get. And on this one, too, let me show you one or two tricks before we move on. If I press and hold down on the letter H, it will hide all of that stuff and let you see the image. If I press, don't hold down. If I press the letter P, it will take me back into preview mode to see the original. I press P again and it comes right back for me. So when you're tilt shifting, you can stop anytime you want to check that out if you want to. We can move this around by touching the pin, don't forget that, and changing the position of where we want these to be, and we can increase or decrease. Now if I increase this up, say a little bit more, let's make it a little bit more, and I hold down the H key, I don't like what it's doing over here to the mast on that boat. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my in focus area right here, and I'm going to push it up. I want that to be in focus. Actually, the only area I really don't want to be in focus is this area down here. So when working with Tilt Shift, we've kind of achieved that goal. It's like we've opened the lens when we took this photo, because this photo was probably taken with about an F16 or an F22 stop-down lens. Everything was in focus. But if we open the lens and focus on those huts or whatever they are out there, basically the foliage in the front would be out of focus and everything else would be in focus and that's what we've achieved with tilt shift. Let's go ahead and do this. Let's turn off tilt shift and go into iris blur right here. Let's go ahead first and get rid of this. We don't need it. Just press the delete key. Now in iris blur, let's go ahead and open that up, you get an iris. Now you can have more than one of these. But what I want to do here is put those huts in focus, kind of like what we did before, but maybe more stuff out of focus. Let's start by getting onto one of these little corners right here and dragging and making it more of an oval. We can go to the pin itself and pull it into about like this. Now again, we can increase or decrease the focus or the blur actually. And then we can increase the transition or decrease the transition by going here. If you hold on the Alt key, you can turn in one of these one at a time. You can control them individually. So we want a little bit more in focus in this direction. So I'll push it that way. I can hold on the H key anytime I want. We need a little bit more over here. I'll hold the Alt key, pull the H key down again. Well, it's not too bad, except I kind of wish that I could bring the boat back into focus, and I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to do that with an oval. So come out here and actually make another pin. 
Now, if we hold down the H key, that's really all we have to do. It actually worked pretty good. Just putting another round one right there, put that area back in focus, kept this stuff in focus, and put all of this out of focus. Just another way to achieve a more photographic effect. Let's look at the last one. I find this one the most valuable. So let's go ahead and turn off Iris, and let's go into Field Blur. And let's go ahead first off and get rid of this, and this one. So I'm just deleting them after I select them. In Field Blur, all you get really is that. But the cool thing about it is you've got all this control. For example, let me move this one over here. I'm going to take the blur down on this one. Let's take it down to about a one or a two. So in other words, very little blur in this area. And if I move it back out again, it comes into blur. So let's not worry about that yet. Let's add another one about here. And let's take this one to about three. I'm going to add another one here. And we'll take this one to about maybe four or five. And we'll take one more, say, about here. And maybe we'll make that one about eight or nine. So we're getting, and let me go ahead and press the H key. We're getting these areas slowly going out of focus, going in this direction. But I also want this stuff out of focus. Well, just start adding more. Every time you add one, you're creating a zone that it works in. And we'll just go ahead and use the defaults for now. And we can move these down just a little bit here. Maybe something like that. I like this one. Field Blur is kind of fun to work with. And if I press H, you can see what we've done. We've kept the buildings in focus, but slowly going out of focus with distance. And we put all of the foliage out of focus. In photography, that would almost be like we have an open lens and we're focusing more on this area right here and everything else is going out of focus. Three different blur tools, Field Blur, Iris Blur, and Tilt Shift Blur, all designed to help us create really cool photographs. On to the next.